Hello everybody, it's Schwan again, and this is another video in the TragicServers.com series of how to manage your server. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to upload a map. Uh, it sounds simple, but, you know, there's some aspects to it that might be confusing, so let's just dive right in. So the first thing I would recommend is Tragic has been extremely nice, and he added a downloads page to his website. So we're just going to go ahead and take full advantage of that. So if, you click, if you're logged in on the right-hand side and you click support and downloads you'll get to this page now I don't know if tragic wants me to tell you this but if you even if you're not a tragicservers.com subscriber if you go to tragicservers.com slash downloads dot php you can still get to this page and have access to you know these good resources so now that we're at this downloads page we're gonna talk about maps today so we'll click on maps and then you can see that he has it segmented into you know different uh, leagues and variations of TF2. We're going to concern ourselves with ESEA Season 12, and these are all the custom maps you might need for this season. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and download the worst map on here, which is CP Asheville B6. Alright, and then once you've done that, you will see, go ahead and go here, so you'll see CP Asheville B6.zip. Now, um, a .zip file can be opened natively in Windows, Okay, it can also be opened by a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. I happen to use 7-Zip. And there's a few ways we can go about doing this, right? So we can right-click on the .zip, and we can go to 7-Zip, and then we can extract here. And then we got our .bsp. Now, this is important. So th this is the .zip. If you were to upload, the, and this is where people get confused. If you were to upload this .zip to your server, nothing would happen. What you need is the .bsp. Okay, and this is why it's important to have your file extensions enabled so you see the difference between these two files. Um, if you don't know about that, check out the first tutorial we did on the FTP information. Anyway, so back to maps. You're going to want the BSP file, and that's fine. So if you download, download it from Tragic, you'll get a zip, you'll unzip it. You can also double click it and like drag it from there, right there. You know, any way, anything you really want to do, you just want to get that BSP out of the zip file. Now, let's say you download a map from another source like TF2 Maps or maybe someone posts it on TeamFortress.tv or NATF2.com or something like that. Uh, you, they might link you to a .bz2 and what that is is just a more compressed file and it's used for fast download servers in TF2 um, and they might just link you that and it's, it works the same way. So if you have WinRAR or 7-Zip installed, you can just double click on it and drag and drop it, right? And I could have also right clicked on it, and I could have gone to 7 zip and extract here, same thing. You know, just get, make sure, but you know, one thing stays true, you need the .bsp, you do not need the dot, you know, zip or bc2, okay? That's the only way, that's the only thing you can mess up here. So now the hard part's over, we'll just go ahead and go into FileZilla. If you don't know what you're looking at right now, go ahead and go watch our first tutorial. But we're in FileZilla right now, and we'll go to the folder where all this stuff is in on our local site which is a tragic server as we go map so this is what we were just looking at over here and we'll go on my server the vector gaming server and we'll go to tf actually you know what? we'll go from the beginning so when you first log on to your server you'll see something that looks like this you'll want to press tf and then you're going to want to find the maps folder you can double click on that and you're in the maps folder these are all the maps on your server so we're, we will go ahead and upload the worst map on here to our maps folder and we can do this a couple ways we could double click on Asheville or we could like single click hold and make sure we put it over the maps that's the way I, pre I prefer to do it is I just like hold it and I just drag it to maps so I make sure it goes in that directory if you put this full if you put this file in you know the TF directory or the CFG directory uh, nothing will happen it needs to be in the maps directory for this to work and that's the end of this tutorial uh, I hope it was helpful and that is how you upload maps to a server um, I'm Schwan and I'm out